Hi guys, welcome to yet another video. So today we're going to do butterfly locks. And the first thing you want to get right is the type of hair you're using because this can bring out very different results. So here I am using Afro Twist, which is perfect for this look that I'm going for, which is kind of a raggeded butterfly lock, raggeded look. So you're going to want to make sure you got the hair right. What I'm doing here is I am dividing the braiding hair, the one that I'm going to wrap the braid with, into thinner sections because the sections also matter. From one bundle, I got four bundles, and then from the four bundles, I divided one bundle into two, and that's what we're going to use. Start on already braided hair. If you don't have hair piece to add on your hair, you can just do natural braids from the client's hair and then you're going to crochet a piece of hair that you've sectioned not too thick not too thin and after doing that you're going to measure if the braid and the piece of hair match in length if they don't like mine here you're going to wrap the braid that you've already done by itself so that it can be of the length that you want and it can be workable and then after that you're going to take another piece of hair and combine the wrapped braid and the crocheted piece of hair then you're going to loop around that you're going to start off by looping the base like you would do a normal braid You're just going to wrap around and when you reach a certain point, you're going to insert an outside loop. I use my index finger from the other hand that I am looping the hair with. And then I insert my thumb, which is easier than just inserting your thumb straight away. And then I continue wrapping three times above that loop and then remove my thumb and immediately wrap under the thumb and continue wrapping downwards and also keep in mind do not keep the thumb loop too tight you want it to be a little bit loose so that it will be easier to remove the thumb and also look more ragged and also it will give you an easier time braiding since you will have good speed and this is what you're going to repeat throughout the video when you're out of the added hair you're just going to take another similar piece of similar width and you're going to do like you're starting a braid you're just going to hold it like this wrap it around and make sure it's well covered and then you're just going to continue with the same technique i said in the beginning Wrap the braid when you reach a certain point, insert your index finger, then thumb and create that loop. Go over on top of the loop three times. Remove your thumb and immediately secure that by passing the braiding hair under the loop so that the loop cannot unravel and your braid can look even. When you reach the end, you want to just continue a bit and have that thin wrap like you see in the video and then you're going to go up wrapping it and what this will do to it it will create another loop like the ones on the side but now this one is on the bottom and it will make the look to be nicer and after you finish you're just going to rub it in between your hand to seal off any hair that may have been remaining or may may have not stuck itself to the braid and yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Kindly share the video. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and see you in the next video, guys. Bye.